योर क्वेश्चन इज द सेकेंड टर्म ऑफ अ जोमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड द थर्ड टर्म इज ट्वेल्व एंड इन ब्रैकेट एक्स प्लस वन फाइन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स द फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ प्रोग्रेशन फाइंड दैट गिवेन दैट द सम ऑफ द फर्स्ट थ्री टर्म्स इज सेवेंटी सिक्स फाइंड द पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स नाउ वॉट दे हैव टोल्ड तो फर्स्ट दे हैव टोल्ड सेकेंड टर्म That means second term. What is that? A two. A two is equal to. They have given you twenty four. Next, what they have given? Third term. That means A three is equal to twelve x plus one. Now. With the help of these two, we can find it out what common ratio that is R. R is equal to a three by a two. Now substitute the value. What we will get? Here we will get twenty twelve, and here x plus one divided by twenty four. Now twelve and twenty four it will go two times. So therefore, we can say R is equal to x plus one by two. Now, what they have told next? Find the terms of x. Find in terms of x the first term of progression. That means we have to find it out a. A. How? So we know that a two is twenty four. So how we will write that? So we can write it as a two is equal to a r and two minus one. This is the formula for that. That is equal to we can say a r, and here comes your A two, A two. They have given you twenty four. So what is your A? Now substitute this R. Now, what we have to do? Just we have to substitute this R value here. So what we will get? See this. We will get twenty four is equal to A into x plus one by two. Now cross multiply. So what we will get for A? So here we will get a is equal to forty eight by x plus one. So this is your a value in terms of in terms of x. Now, so this is your a in terms of x. Next, what they have told? See that find given that the sum of the first three terms is seventy six. so how we will write the terms so that is nothing but your a plus ar plus ar square that is equal to 76 now we have to find out the possible value for x now substitute the value what we will get see this so here a is common So here we will get one plus r plus r square. That is equal to seventy six. Now substitute the value. A is forty eight by x plus one. Next one plus r. R is x plus one by two plus r square. That means x plus one whole square. By two square is four. That is equal to seventy six. Now try to solve them. What we will get? So you can see forty eight by x plus one into one is forty eight by x plus one plus forty eight into this value. So you can see. 
x plus 1 here it is there, x plus 1 here it is there. So that means it will get cancelled and this will be 24 plus now x plus 1 here x plus 1 whole square is there. That means it will be 1 power will go out. So here you will get x plus 1 this one and into 4 divided by 48 48 divided by 4 is 12 so here we will get what into 12 this much is equal to 76 now solve this so take the LCM x plus 1 what we will get so if you take the LCM x plus 1 here so here you will you will get 48 plus 24x plus 24 plus 12 12 into a plus b whole square that means it will be x square so here you will get 12x square plus second is 2ab so 2 into 12 is 24 24x plus 12 that is equal to 76 and here comes your x plus 1. Now cross multiply this and this and bring everything to your left side what it will be. So here it will be 12x square first then plus 24 plus 24 is 48x. Next comes 48 plus 24 plus 12. So this is your 36. So 48 plus 36. It will be 14, 1 carry 84. So we will get plus 84. This gets over. And bring this to this side after multiplication. So it will be minus 76x minus 76 that is equal to 0. Now solve this. So this is your 12x square. And here x 48x minus 76x is what? So that means it will be minus 16 minus 8 is 8, 6 minus this is 2, 28x and here plus 84 minus 76, 14 minus 8, 14 minus 6 is 8, that is equal to 0. You can see every number is divisible by 4. So we will divide it by 4. So what we will get? Here we will get 3x square minus 7x plus 2. That is equal to 0. Now go for middle term splitting. So you can see 3 into 2 is 6. And 6 into 1 that is your factor 6 into 1 that means 6 plus 1 is 7 so we have to make minus so minus 6 minus 1 so now it will be 3x square minus 6x minus x plus 2 that is equal to 0 so here 3x is common so here we will get x minus 2 here minus 1 is common so again you will get x minus 2 is equal to 0. So therefore two factors are x minus 2 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. If you solve this you will get x is equal to 2 and if you solve 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 you will get x is equal to 1 by 3. So this, these two are 2 and 1 by 3 is your possible value of x. So like this we have to find it out.